Okay, so now let's move on to the ventricles within the brain. Um, remember that ventricles in the brain are actually spaces or cavities. Uh, so this model would represent them almost as if we took some sort of modeling clay or some harder substance, pressed it into all of these spaces or ventricles within the brain and pulled it out. So we do have a solid model to help you locate um, and identify the ventricles, but just remember again, in reality, they're actually spaces or cavities within the brain. Um, so the first ventricle that you need to identify are the lateral ventricles. Yes, this is plural. It's the only ventricle that we have two of and they are paired. So you can see the lateral ventricle right here. And then we have the second one um, right here on this side. Where they connect in the middle right here, that's gonna be the septum pellucidum. We also um, need to identify the intraventricular foramen, and the intraventricular foramen is this space right here, which is going to lead us to this area. Let me see if I can adjust this. This area right here, that would be your third ventricle. Extending off of the third ventricle is your cerebral aqueduct. So this this entire structure right here another angle or view would be right here. So this is your cerebral aqueduct, which is gonna to connect to the fourth ventricle down in this area. And from this view, this would be your fourth ventricle right here. Um, it asks you to identify the choroid plexus. So all this pink stuff um, up here above our third ventricle and down here on our fourth ventricle, that is representative of the choroid plexus.